to my channel so I'm really really excited to film this video for you guys I don't know why I came up with it the other day and I thought that this would be a really good idea especially for this time of year when you might be looking for Christmas presents for one of your friends that's really into makeup or something like that um and as you can tell by the title it is my top 10 mac lip combinations so this is going to be um three lip products each time i'm going to go from a nude down to a really dark lip and like i said three lip products so i'm going to be using a pencil a lipstick and a lip gloss i'll show you what it looks like with just the lipstick and the lip pencil and then with the gloss on the top because not everyone loves a glossy lip and some of the ones I don't actually use a gloss in them either but um, yeah like I said not everyone likes a glossy lip but when it comes to nudes and pinks and stuff like that I love a glossy lip so all the products I am using like I said are MAC and I think most of them are permanent so you'll be able to get your hands on them any time of the year. I know um, some shades are really popular and might be sold out around this time of the year but I thought this would be a good idea to just one show you my favourite MAC lip combinations because sometimes it can be quite intimidating going in and seeing all the lipsticks that they've got on the stand, all the pencils that they've got, all the lip glosses because they've got so 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 many so these are just my top 10 and like i said quite a good gift idea if you didn't know what to get anyone and you know they're into their makeup and stuff um a lip combination is a really cute present like a couple of things from mac um that might look good on their lips um just as a skin reference obviously not all these lip combinations are gonna look the same on if you're a lot paler than me or a lot darker than me um as a reference i am about an nc30 to an nc35 in a mac foundation and these are what these colors look on me and these are my favorites and i just thought i would share them with you i feel like i've rambled on enough but yeah so let's go ahead and get started so to start off with one of my favorite paler beige -er nude lip combos is electra pro longwear lip pencil Creme de Nude Lip Gloss and Instant Gold Luster Glass. I'm going to try and do swatches of all of them. So the Electra Pencil is a really nice wearable beigey brown shade. It's kind of got a, um, yeah, like I said, like a brown undertone to it. But if you guys wear like stripped down or oak or anything like that, it's a bit more of a warmer brown than that. Those two are a bit more cooler in tone. So that's the pencil. And I like to pair this, like I said, with creme de nude lipstick. So like I said, creme de nude, it's kind of in the name. It's a nude. It's really creamy. It's a cream sheen lipstick. So they're really glossy on the lips but they're not as glossy as say a um luster or a frosted finish it's really comfortable to wear as well and i find that these blend really nicely so you might be thinking that that pencil is way too dark for that lipstick but when i try it on i'll show you what i mean and they do blend super easily and then to top it off i love a glossy nude lip and this color is gorgeous this is a luster glass in instant gold so it looks like that so it's pretty clear in color but it's got really a gorgeous gold reflex to it so um those three together i will obviously add clips in now but those three together look absolutely beautiful moving on to a slightly pinkier nude i really love subculture pencil flesh pot lipstick and sugar rimmed dazzle glass you'll see uh, throughout this video dazzle glasses are a recurring theme because they are hands down my favorite gloss they are like the glitteriest gloss and i just love what a glittery lip looks like looks like when the light hits it your lips just look so full and so plump and i just think like it catches attention and just looks beautiful so flesh pot i think is their paler satin lipstick that they do so satin's kind of the next one to a matte finish it's not completely matte but it's not as glossy as like a cream sheen or anything like that so it's a really gorgeous texture and they blend super nicely with pencils one of my favorite pencils of all time just because it goes with literally everything is subculture so it looks like that and like I said, flesh pot is really pale. So you do have to make sure that you blend out these two together. But subculture, I wear that with like Honey Love, Blankety. It's such an amazing pencil. If you don't, if you want to get your friend a nude pencil and you're not sure which nude, subculture is always a winner. I think it goes with loads of skin types. And then Sugar Rimmed. It's a super pale pink. So it looks gorgeous over these two. Like I said, this is still a nude combination, but it's just got a bit more of like a paler pink undertone to it rather than the kind of brown 
beige light beige nude kind of colours. Moving along, still in the kind of nude, um, but we're kind of going a bit more orangey peachy. This is one of my favourite combination. It is Boldly Bear Lip Pencil, Hue Glaze Lipstick and Moth to Flame Dazzle Glass. So this is, like I said, a bit more of a peachier nude. A glazed lipstick is definitely more of a wash of colour, so you don't want to go too heavy handed with your lip pencil just because it's not as strong as a pigment to be able to blend it out. So with Boldly Bear Pencil, it is more of the warm and nude shade, so they do go together, but you do just have to make sure that you're slightly softer with the colour and the Moth to Flame Dazzle Glass is absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favourites. It just adds a bit of a warmer glitter to your lip. So that is what those three look like. We have the Dazzle Glass at the top pencil here and the lipstick there. That kind of shows you that it's a bit more of a peach but um, like all the other ones, I will show you what that looks like on my lips. Now, a couple of lipsticks that would look gorgeous in this combination, I just don't own them, is Shanghai Spy, Shy Girl. Both look amazing with this gloss and pencil combination as well. Getting a bit more darker-ish and a bit more pinkier, this is one of my favourite pinker lip combinations. I do tend to stay away from a bright pink lip, so I haven't really got a really bright pink lip in this video. Some people can rock a bright pink lip and I think that that looks beaut, but for me, with having blonde hair, blue eyes, being quite tanned a lot of the time, I feel like it just makes me look like a Barbie doll and there's nothing wrong with that, but for me, it's just not one of my favorite looks. So this one is a bit more wearable um, for me personally. And it is Double Time Pro Longwear Pencil, which is one of the new ones that they came out with. So it's still a bit of a nude, but it's more of a deeper nude pink. Uh, Honey Love Lipstick, which is one of my favourite lipsticks of all, 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 all time. I wear it with so, so, so many. I'm just showing you what it looks like in this combination. And Baby Sparks Dazzle Glass. So this is what they look like swatched on my hand. This is Baby Sparks Dazzle Glass. Honey Love Lipstick and Double Time Pencil. Um, I'll show you what they look like on my lips now, but this one is kind of more of a deeper nude than obviously the first couple that I showed you. So this one um, kind of is a bit more of like a safer option. The new Pro Longwear pencils, the shades that they came out with are amazing. Double Time and Cultured are defo my favourite ones. But yeah, like I said, this can be paired with any. You could switch out Honey Love for Velvet Teddy or Spirit Lipstick or Cherish or something like that. That would look amazing with this pencil and gloss too. Um, but yeah, that's what this one looks like and it's one of my favourites. If any of my work friends are watching, they will know that this is, I think it's one of all of our favourite lipstick combinations. So this is Strip Down Pencil, Viva Glam 2 Lipstick and Sugar Rimmed Dazzle Glass. So this one I'd still classify as a nude. It's just a bit more of a cool tone, brownier nude. Strip Down Pencil is hands down defo, like one of my favourite lip pencils to pair with anything. Wear this with Flash Pot, wear this with Cherish, wear this with Honey Love, stuff like that. It looks amazing. I'm just showing you what it looks like with this one because um, this is definitely just one of the best lip combination. So the pencil and the lipstick together is quite dark, but then it looks, I like to lighten it slightly with the sugar rimmed dazzle glass as you'll see. But the main um, thing about this is one, it's such, well, I love it as a lip combination anyway, but Viva Glam lipstick, I don't know if you guys are aware, but 100% of the proceedings of Viva Glam lipsticks go to the MAC AIDS Fund, which is one of the, like the biggest charities and does so 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 much a hundred percent of proceedings go to this so if you wanted to get this combination for someone as a present know that you're doing um a good deed by buying the lipstick it's such a gorgeous color anyway to wear on its own especially around this time of year um with cooler tones coming um into fashion instead of maybe going for like a darker lip um, a cool tone nude is really in style at the moment and I am in love with this combination. So there's the pencil, there's Viva Glam 2 and there is Sugar Rimmed. So this is the only kind of pink combination I really like. It's definitely a pink pink but it's not like super super bright and it is edge to edge lip pencil, creme cup lipstick and rags to riches dazzle glass. So that is what they look like swatched on my hand. There is Rags to Riches, there is Cream Cup, and there is 
edge to edge. Edge to edge is definitely a lot more pinker than I think it's showing up on camera. But yeah, this is one of the pinks I really like to wear. Creme Cup is such a gorgeous colour. Creme Cup and Rags to Riches just on its own without the lip pencil, I think for maybe someone that's quite young, is a really, really gorgeous baby pink combination. So if you know someone that likes pinks, um, this is one of my favourite ones. And if they have a similar skin tone to me, I'll show you obviously what it looks like on my lips now. Um, I really, really like this one. But like I said, I don't really wear a lot of pinks just because I don't want to look like a Barbie doll. But I really like this one. So next up, I have my kind of purple lip. Um, it's not like bright, bright purple. I like to pair kind of cooler, deeper nudes with the kind of brighter lip pencil and lip gloss. So my idea of my favourite kind of purple is heroin lip pencil. Blankety lipstick and a fantabulous dazzle glass. So this for me is a bit more of a wearable purple. Blankety, like I said, and if you guys know Blankety, is a nude lipstick, but it's really cool and um blending out with the pencil um is what I do to create the purple looking shade. Because obviously heroin and fantabulous are both really bright colours. But I definitely feel Blankety's got that perfect undertone, which is why you can get away with it. And I just think Fantabulous Dazzle Glass is like the funnest dazzle glass ever. I think it's gorgeous. And it's got a bit of pigment to it, so it helps to kind of really add a bit more purple to the nude lipstick. So there's Heroin Lip Pencil, there's Blankety, and there's Fantabulous. And I will show you what they look like on my lips now. So as you can see... Um, it does take a bit more blending, but a lipstick, if you really wanted to go bright, bright purple, um, that would look good with the pencil and the lip gloss as well, is Up The Amp, or Violetta, or Flat Out Fabulous, or even Heroin Lipstick, obviously because it goes with the lip pencil. Now, the next three I show you, I is... The next thing I show you is just um, a lip pencil and a lipstick just because they're a lot more brighter colours and with bright colours I feel it's quite risky going quite glossy if you're eating or drinking and stuff you want them to last the longest time and glosses can kind of not necessarily ruin that but um, makes it a bit more difficult. So the next one I'm showing you is my favourite bright orange combination and that is High Energy Pencil and Miley Cyrus the second Viva Glam that she bought out. So these two are like a match made in heaven. They're like the same exact colour. So it's not an ombre like a lot of the other lip combinations I showed you. And this one looks uh, amazing on any skin tone from whether or not you're super pale to super dark. This kind of orange looks phenomenal. I love it when I'm a bit more tanned. The Also the gloss that Miley came out with as well looks incredible on top of this one. So yeah, this is like my favourite orange combination because it's not too out there orange it's a bit more of a red orange so that is the lipstick and that is the pencil like I said this is a, um, a matte finish so lasts a super long time on the lips and I think perfect for this kind of time of year when people are looking um, at like reds and deeper colours this is like an alternative for like a Christmas party or something and orangey red looks gorgeous with like a gold smoky eye or like a minimal on the eye and that's that statement lip. so yeah that's what that one looks like second to last is probably one of my favorite combinations and it's like the perfect red lip and that is ruby boo lipstick and cherry pencil i feel like mac is famous for this lipstick and pencil the combination is just gorgeous it's slightly more of a cooler red I'd say a bit more of a bluer undertone to it but it's definitely one of my favorite reds ever red is like a go-to lip for me um like I said having blonde hair and blue eyes red is one of my favorite colors to wear as in clothing wise as well as on my lips if I ever need a bright statement lip I'll always go for a red I feel like it just complements my skin and everything and this one is definitely one of my faves so this is cherry pencil and that is ruby boo I think ruby boo like I said is one of mac's best or it might be mac's best selling lipstick it's gorgeous from being like I said any skin type really pale to really dark or um anything in between it looks gorgeous yeah, that's what that one looks like. 
And finally, my last lip combination is Miss Diva Pro Longwear Pencil and Diva Lipstick. So around this time of year, this is probably one of the most popular kind of colour choices. Um, dark burgundy lips always, always, always come round into fashion this time of year. And this combination is like my favourite. So again, like the previous two, they are both the pencil and the lipstick together create a really nice matte finish. I think especially with um, darker shades, you want you don't want the risk of them smudging at all because it's they're the most difficult thing to get off ever. So keeping them matte just ensures that they're quite dry and reduces the risk of smudging. So that's what they look like. Um, really, really gorgeous, like burgundy wine plummy colors like i said amazing and really in trend this time of year so if you were looking maybe you know your friends um are getting into makeup and they like following trends or they really like a dark lip this one is definitely one of my favorites and that is what this one looks like on my lips so that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe have discovered a new mac lip combination that you like or potential gift idea for someone that you know really likes makeup or is just getting into makeup or just really likes mac lipsticks or uh mac makeup in general this video is not sponsored by mac or anything like that I just love MAC as a brand and their lip products so I thought I would share and I get a lot of questions about lip combinations and stuff like that so yeah I just thought I would get this video out for you guys and it's kind of a fun video to do anyway but yeah so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed leave future video suggestions in the comment section down below yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time I'll see you soon bye guys <laughs>